Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dustin and today we're going to be doing some Profit Taker. Uh, what I mean by that is we're going to fight a boss for like three, two, three hours, something like that. There's one big asterisk next to that and that is hoping that I can finally get a credit boost because I've been sitting at multiple relays now waiting for somebody to bestow upon me a credit blessing and I have like every other blessing in the game right now. Uh, if I can get it one to happen soon, then great. Um, but yeah, that, that's good. That's been it's been a process so far. So let me go ahead and cut the music here and get the desktop stuff going. And then whenever Warframe wants to load an OBS, uh, music today is also linked down below in the description as well as in chat. It's the pinned comment. I'm going with a slight difference of music today. Oh, Naras Prime and Ash Prime have returned. Nice. So, unfortunately, I'm at the mercy of whenever somebody wants to bless me with a credit blessing. So, until then... Credits... Uh, blessing... And thank you. So, until then, we'll just kind of hang out and chill here. Allow me to talk about some of the things that I did... Uh, the other day. As you can tell, I'm down to 37,000 credits, which, I mean, that's that's kind of to be expected with me. I spend a lot of my credits. But yesterday, I went and got a bunch of carbides. So, funny, funny story about carbides. You can get them from Railjack missions specifically, or Ceres, as it says. Um, but the Railjack mission is the Earth mission. If you have a decent Railjack, just take it to the highest level. Uh, it's like one o'clock position on the actual uh, star map there and um, you basically just go through uh, if you have uh, some of the NPC or AI controlled guys helping you out what you can do is you can just go ahead and drive through everything let them shoot everything else uh, get to the main objective whether it be the, like a pulse turbine or um, a missile torpedo platform missile platform I think is what it's called do that first but before you do that mission make sure you have equipped I did it with Korra but you can do it with any any frame make sure you have a pet equipped with the um, has a chance to break into lockers make sure that one's maxed out because carbides drop from containers and lockers as they can drop from enemies I think but it's like a it's not even really that worth it so what you want to do is you want to be opening up containers opening lockers if you see a locked locker like a red one stand next to it with your pet that has the ability to like crack into it and then hope that you get a good roll it's like a 90 percent chance that you actually unlock the locker on with your pet so there's a good chance you'll get a lot of them i did that for a few hours last night and then um I ended up having to get a lot of credits, and most of those credits are gone now. The reason I did all this yesterday was I finally hit rank 10 on command in the Railjack Intrinsics. Uh, what those are, if I were to take a look here real quick, uh, level 10 you get elite crewmates. So you go over to Ticker and you can actually get elite crewmates. So I got one last night that specializes in um, firing weapons of the Zet key. Zet Zekti kind. They have weird names. L Lavin, Zekti, and something else I don't remember. But I have Zek Zekti turrets. So that one, that one crew member is going to be doing really well there. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it today because it's it's quite expensive. But there is a crewmate for like a rifle perk. I don't remember if it's like extra damage or extra fire rate, whatever it is. But I want to get that, so then that will be my on-call guy, and then the uh, I want another person that'll be able to benefit from shooting the turrets that I have as well. Those recruiting those particular individuals, I think, are going to be what's going to take a lot of carbides. So that's why I went on a carbide mission hunt last night. Uh, I think I earned over like twenty thousand. And let me show you all the blessings I've gotten just from kind of sitting here. I was here a little bit ago, so you know. I did get a damage blessing, but I have a health blessing, resource drop, affinity. I just need a credit blessing, please. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah. 
I, I'm not going to do Profit Taker without it, and it's just a matter of when are we going to get it, you know? That's just kind of the big thing. Now, I might also indulge in getting a credits um, booster. Let's see. Let's go five, I guess. I don't know. I like how I swapped from one of these relays, and eight was, like, busy. And it was the only one that showed up as busy. All the other ones were probably full or something. What was that that said? Warframe Marketplace. Price what? So yeah, um... Unfortunately, I've, I've been sitting here, I've been waiting, I've been trying. There's not much else really to talk about. I mean, I could go over some things. Um, there's my Spectre allies. All of them have Rhino. I used to play Rhino, Natara, late on Broken War. That used to be my combo. Um... Let me take a, let me take the time to actually look through this. So, um, I don't really want to do. So one changes it. Oh, okay. So he can actually bullet jump and stuff. Okay. The mental alignment and offensive area of effect is creative chrome and its new allies are due to defensive energy. So heat is more health status chance. Electricity is more shields. Damage multiplier. So electricity is damage multiplier. Is that only on electricity damage though? Because I see a damage multiplier on cold as well. armor this is his armor stuff actually his three would be good Ooh, double the effect on weak point hit or kills how long is this 18 seconds that's a massive drain though Yeah, this is the main one that I'm trying to go for, too. That's, um, extra credit multiplier. Um. My keyboard is not working. Um. That's not good. Alright, uh, the stream might stop for a second. I need to do a stupid thing to reset my keyboard. So, I will be right back. It is not you. It is me. I need to do something, though.
We're back. Don't worry about that. I had to do a stupid thing like I mentioned. Bear with me a few minutes here. Is the music not working now? Oh. And I'm gonna try another stupid thing. Uh, this. I think we're okay. Now I can hear things. <laughs> so, funny story. Uh, my laptop gets really hot. And um, it causes my uh, keyboard to stop working sometimes. And usually what I have to do to fix that is I put it in standby mode. So I tried that. And then I looked over and the stream was still going and I saw myself get a credit booster and I'm like, of course I get it. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. That, that's a thing that happens. Please tell me to actually... Okay, good. You guys should be able to see it, hopefully, sometime in life. There we go. So, uh... Damage, credit, blessing, resource. We got all these boofs. What we're gonna do now too, just to add more top to, or more of a topping to it. I'd like to point out, um, what? What is that? That's a horrible offer. Frames buffering. I drop frames. As I was saying before, uh, DE slightly de or like DDoSed me. Lost like 366 frames there. Uh, these are horrible offers. Don't ever buy them. Instead, this is better for your money. Um, yeah, I, I don't really personally advertise buying these sorts of things. But at the same time, if you're going to be doing a lot of profit taker or if you know you're going to be running for a lot of credits for a couple of days, these can be really, really good. So... Versus those at your own um, convenience or lack thereof. You know, just be frugal with the plat that you have unless you just don't care because apparently there's too much plat on the marketplace and we need to remove it all. So, I don't know. Something I've heard people literally tell me, so. Now, do I believe those people? Eh, maybe a little bit. The other thing too with my laptop, um, there was a, there was an update to Windows that I didn't tell it that I wanted it to do, but it did anyways. So, I don't know, It maybe something weird happened, I'm not sure. Profit taker, we hit this one. Really? I removed it because I don't like having it on there. Really good, so you need it. Because it's not like you have a freaking necromech or anything. All right, so a little tip too, if you're doing this, I don't know what the button is on a uh, controller, but if you just hit enter on your keyboard, you can just spam through their texts. Uh, I don't know how many people are watching this who are going for Profit Taker and didn't know that, but in case you didn't know that, that's how you do that. Otherwise, you have to kind of sit through. If you try hitting escape or space bar, it won't let you advance their text quickly. So if you just hit spam enter, it will allow you to do that. So Profit Taker has three different places that she can spawn, all kind of in this general direction. Oh. I 
was like, what's going on? I turned the hot off for a screenshot earlier. There we go. So basically what we do is we approach Profit Taker here. Um, I do have an on-call crew, but I don't know how I can really get them to show up, if I'm honest. Actually, I do see the uh, increase of damage. Holy cow. This is radiation. I don't have that one, so we're just gonna... That. I do have Slash. This weapon. And it Diplos. not that good, but, you know. Viral. This is good on this one. Just so whip you on. <coughs> Excuse me. Blasts. That's my four. Legs. Hello? Leg? Yep. Face, jump up, two to three void slings, it mix up my buttons, Get the vandal out and ready. Change it up here. Impacts. It's gas. I don't have gas. Electricity. I also don't have. Corrosive. I do have on the. Gosh. Need my warframe, please. Magnetism. I need to upgrade this Diplos. I need to work on some sisters. Change it to cold. Puncture. again. Out 
of uh, Diplos bullets. Impacts. Have gas. Have electricity. Have that one. Rosie, baby. Two, three, and four. Face. This is the final shot. What I like to do is use my four. Buff any extra corpus goons that might be around. Then about this time, hop back into Chroma. I'm gonna hit my four. It does have a qu pretty drastic drain, so I do. This time I use this. That. So we did get the proc. Usually it's 125 credits, 125,000. Uh, this was 283, which means Chroma's procced. The extra blessings and boosters should take effect on the mission end screen. So it should be hopefully over 500 or 500. I'm hoping it's 500,000 or more per run. Okay, 703, I'll take that. That's pretty good. There's only one other buff that I could use, and that is a Smita Kavat. I do not own a Smita Kavat, personally. So, unfortunately, I do not have... Um, I'm not, like, complete min maxi, you know? Yeah, the entire stream for anybody watching, uh, if you don't like mundane, re repetitious nonsense, I give you permission to leave. <laughs> Just know that uh, I have to do this, so. You know what I didn't do actually? I did not change this to electricity as well. Yeah, electricity is what I need. Usually th these are only like a hundred. This is now 400, the buff. Oh my gosh, stop it. Viral. Uh, there it is. Like, where's where's my mech? Go and body. Gosh, yeah, there's a console host here, that's for sure. My gosh, just kill it, guys. Why do I gotta do all this work? Where? Which one?
Where is there he is? I'm hitting that. I hit this now. It doesn't seem like it changes. I don't know. I need to figure out what's going on. Maybe it's like it only affects electricity. Um, like increase of damage. I don't know. For the puncture, because I know I can do more damage with this bad boy. There is that. Coil drive over here. Stretch, legs, face. Spawn just before. Okay. I need to work on that timing a bit. Or just not use Chroma's other abilities, because I don't know how they work. I'll be honest, I'm pretty content with the damage output that I do. It's not like, you know. I'm not I'm not playing Volt, okay? Easy. There's never another 700. So in theory, right? These are what, like six minutes, five, six-ish minutes, somewhere around there. So I can do 10 in an hour. That would be seven mil an hour, something like that. <laughs> Ow, also known as uh, short for hour. So realistically, by the end of the day or the end of the stream, if I do this for three hours, I should have about 20 to 21 mil is what I'll say. I'm around there. <laughs> which my goal to get like 900 plat, um, which is 300 Vitus Essence, which is gonna be 15 galvanized mods. Um, I need about, I think it's like 23, 24 million credits. And that's not including Endo. That's, I mean, the Vitus Essence is the easiest part of them all, if I'm honest. Let's change that. It's not one that I have. Lists. The blast, you know. Oh my gosh, there's so many missiles. I definitely need to upgrade this thing. That is last. Should be legs. Get the other side. Come on, my dear. Stop. 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 
Stop it. Accept your fate. You want a piece of me too, huh? Not dead, dead. How long would it kill? Eh, it wouldn't take that long, actually, for my operator to do that. Definitely faster, though, with the Vandal. Egg. Egg. Did I not? I didn't. Impact, fire. Oh my gosh. Chroma, please. <clears throat> Viral, baby. It immediately swaps off. I don't know if that's my ally doing that or if that's Profit Taker just being like, I've taken too much damage, switching to a different one. I think it's Profit Taker doing it. Allies damaging it a little bit. I do not have electricity. Radiation. Slash. Ah, it's gas. Corrosive. Nice. Here we go. All these beacons are right next to each other. What? It landed on the shield of the other one? I haven't seen that one before. Landed right next to each other indeed. That is not one that I have. I have that one. Last hit. Got the enemies. Wait a second. And then pop it right back here. It procked. Nice. Like I said, as long as that is to uh, over 200,000 credits, then Chroma's popped. It's a 60% shot so far, 3 out of 3. Not bad. I like to be doorkeeper. Also, getting some radiance here is also pretty nice, too. The thing that takes the longest amount of time is this, the elevator load times and stuff. I didn't even completely load it in and um, I've had it bug out before where somebody started a mission before I even loaded in the Fortuna, which is why I leave party. Like if they don't wait for everybody to be done, nah. Plus some people, I don't know, they just don't. They're not in go mode, so to say, like I am right now. 
So they'll just be like, well, let me change something in my arsenal real quick. It's like, if, if you're trying to figure this stuff out, I get it. But like, leave party if you're going to do that and then just join another random party. There's no points, unless you are specifically playing with friends or maybe people that you, you know, have committed to play with in that session, there's no point in staying in the same party that, that often. Cowboy Elvis, all right, dude. Toxin of which I do not have. I have that one. That would be corrosive. Well, thanks for changing to cold. The other part of this weapon. Radiation, puncture. Just skip a phase? What just happened? There's been uh, some recent things I've noticed. Like sometimes we'll just skip the last phase entirely. Not entirely certain what that's all about. Dude has electricity. Bag baby, let's go. This is a quick run, dude. And then of course somebody joins. So we're like, we're we're basically like sixty percent done at this point. Too bad though, thankfully. Gosh, just thank you. What do we got? Uh, I can't tell. Flash. Ooh, boy. Spiral. Uh, toxin. Corrosive. Cold. Radiation. Oh my gosh. Arctic Eximus was like, I'll save you, Mrs. President. minute run. And yeah, that was a really good run. Back in the elevator by 345. That is insane. It makes sense. It's Cowboy freaking Elvis, you know? <laughs> So far, not bad. We had like 40,000 when it started today. 2.8 actually. That's about four runs. It's not bad. Yeah, if you include all this other like miscellaneous time of, you know, I get back inside, I have to run over there, I have to interact with the door, go to the table, interact, talk to, uh, what's her name? Is Utico? It's been a while since I actually. Oh, there he is again. It's been a while since I heard, or like, 
did anything really long term here at um, Fortuna, if I'm honest. I think it's Utico. That's, that is Blast. Why? Wait, this does Slash as well? So this is a better alternative than the Diplos. Anybody watching this too who might think, wow, you're just not being a team player or helping your allies up. Uh, this is Profit Taker. By the time they would run out of all their revives, we would have the mission done. And if uh, if you play Profit Taker and you get upset that nobody revives you, um, maybe, just maybe, you should learn how to do Profit Taker. Profit Taker is not a place where we can just stop. Okay, nice animation. Uh, is not a place where we can just stop trying to do damage and res allies. That that's not what Profit Taker is about. Profit Taker is trying to do it as quick as possible. I want to get my on call. Oh man, I'm all sorts of jacked up. The animations are all screwed up. mess up again in the airlock in 330 this time. What happens when you have better teammates or like better cohesive unit? Somebody's using a steel charge? I need to find like a primary weapon. Actually, so here's the thing, right? Technically, I have a uh, Kuva Nucorp that I think would be better than the Diplos. I don't know for sure. So this time I'm going to do it. Because this Diplos, the thing that this Diplos ha doesn't have, more or less, is the magnetic bonus is not 100, like 60. But I mean, it's got all of these different things. The only difference, or huge difference, though, between these two is that um, this bad boy, I don't believe, yeah, it doesn't have viral, unfortunately. Might just be because some of the mods are actually missing, but, you know. Uh, I know, that's funny. Looking for a pistol mod on a pistol thing. Um, the other one is Scorch. So this is going to have Heat, Radiation, Magnetic, Viral. Okay. 
The only thing I'm missing on this though is the extension, which is a, a boss fight that I don't want to deal with on heat status effects. I think that's what I'm gonna run with is this. We'll give it a shot. Um, the beam is kind of low range though, which is, makes this kind of strange. But now that I know that Slash is actually on my main weapon, I don't necessarily need to uh, use my secondary. We got magnet magnetism. Is it like 50? It's like 50. Where's the 500? I can't tell. It's slow, whatever it is. Okay, it's, is this good? This is like 2, 300. So I mean... Hmm. Is it better than the Diplos? Maybe. Blast some of that. Uh, get out of that mode. Fast as the new core brings down, not fast enough. Ah. Four. I think I've done two phases mainly by myself. I still don't have electricity on that weapon. Oh, the wombo combo, dude. This is why it's actually a good thing to be inside the um, arc wing for some of this. When you can avoid the uh, riffraff. Okay. Well, I was going to check viral. Guess I won't be. Get in the net. Thank you. I must say get in the necropolis. Seeing over a thousand here, so that's good for fire. Rock 
that as well. Nice, nice. Knowing the first match of the day was like almost seven minutes, I am totally fine with a sub six minute run. It'd be better, you know, sub five, you know, 3.30, four. This one was a little over five, but that's also not counting, like I said, the time it takes for me to go from the elevator here back to Utica's desk, get the, the next mission, and then go back in the elevator and all the loading times within. Take her to this. I'm gonna grab my phone real quick. How much time on my credits? Two hours. I have my phone set a timer. Set a timer for two hours and 18 minutes. Yes, I am that lazy. some water. I know I'll be sitting here AFK for a little bit. I'll be right back. This poor, poor player here. I mean, they're prop they're legendary one. They they know what they're doing, but I still feel bad when people have a hard time. I know what it's like. This one, and down it goes. So if you kill an Eximus, uh, you're guaranteed to come back up. Counts as three kills. Viral. 
Is the one thing that uh, the new core does not do better, and that is viral. It's it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Don't have electricity either. Swap, please. Thank you. Holy dude. Skip leg day, kids. <sighs> Do I? I was going to, but... Yeah, that makes sense. Using the laser thing on the side of her. a little bit longer, but that's okay. Seven runs now. Okay. So enough.
The missile. <laughs> so close. The viral one is okay. The new core. It's not nearly as quick as the diplos. I need to find a, a different weapon for this. Different subhand. Secondary. Have you? Puncture, easy. What do we got? That is not one I have. That is one I have. There's another one I have. Basically, every time Biz talks, that's your clue that, hey, it's time to destroy the plates. Go. somebody just had, but they just cycled through three stages really quick. Actually really good. Pop this bad boy. Still popping off. Sub five, I'll take it. These are the runs we all dream of. <laughs> I think the new core is actually in need of more forma. Like, I think 34 is the highest it can go because it's only been forma twice. So I might try to forma and run it. I know how hard it is to play the game on controller. Recently I installed it on PlayStation 4. Late at night if if I want to play Warframe but I can't sit at my computer because my knees have been giving me issues recently due to a recent like almost three weeks ago, three weeks ago today, uh, knee injury. If I need to just lay and play, then I'll uh, have the PlayStation 4 turn it on and then play. It is not easy controlling things on the stick, especially when things get really fast. Like, arc wings are fast. When you first get it, you're probably going to be like, wow, this thing's quick if you, have, if you don't have it.
but if you use it for a while, you tend to you tend to forget that, you know. A great example of that is uh, power tools, you know. If you use a power tool like a mechanic does, like an impact wrench or something like that, you're used to it, and for some reason you think you're stronger than the tool. So I've seen people try to do things with power tools, like think that they can just like hold on to it and rev it. That's not that's not going to end well. Trust me on that. Arsenal. Uh, what do I need for the new core? Uh, this is supposedly a five forma build, so we can probably forma it again. What would I want to forma? These two need forming. The galvanized shot needs forming. For forming. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, pretty much. I don't have to change this the uh, thing over here, but I could. All right, let's add a forma to the galvanized shot. Let's make it this. I'm gonna lose heat on it. That's fine though. I'm mainly just swapping till I get my vandal and just kind of hoping my allies have everything else. The vandal is actually really good. Like. I'm debating between the Vandal or... You know what I should do for a secondary? I'm all over the place. Um, there's a weapon called the Spore Laser. I wonder if I, I wonder if you can build it into a secondary. Because if you can... Well, it's not a weapon Spore Laser. It's a, a kit gun part called the Spore Laser. Because if I can get like a secondary where I just stand, like sit on top and just like fire away, that'd be kind of cool. Magnetism. It's not. It's not quick. There's gas. Blasts. Radiation. Viral, technically. Heat, technically. Actually, no, I removed the mod because I formed a... That was my bad. Electricity, I don't have for her. Corrosive. Impact into legs. For a second. technically have that one. Not gonna be quick though. Yeah, so either last radiation into viral.
Really? You saw me going for that one. You still shot it. Really easy to mess up with the misses here. Can't just sit still though. stream here in a second as well. I think we're back back. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we're... Okay, let me make sure move my mouse around a little bit on stream. Might show how long lag or latency is for the stream side. Yes, okay. We're officially back back. Um... No, we're not, as I say that. And now we are back. Are we back or are we not? I'm just staring at my OBS. I just dropped like 790 frames. We were back and then we weren't back. Now we're back again. Long story, internet had a a brief outage maybe five ten minutes something like that uh this was the result of that last mission that we just did for you guys it'll probably be like a few seconds of like choppy weird glitchy footage but i assure you i did actually beat it and you know i, I made a comment at, after i beat it i was like oh it didn't show me my mission reward it's because that's about the time the internet went down um and as you can see yeah there, there's a lot of failed to connect to chat server messages so it wasn't just OBS being stupid it wasn't just like it wasn't Warframe being weird it was just my internet so we are officially back and now it's just time to get into it and do more missions I'm going to assume that was the only internet issues that we're going to have for the day. Because then there's something in my eye, so, you know. So here's the thing, right? I don't really know how much credits I'm gonna have by the end of the day, nor do I really have like a, this is what I must have by the end of the stream today sort of a thing. Because much like a lot of other things, credits is one of those resources you're just gonna use throughout your the entirety of your time playing Warframe. So whatever I get today is going to be used, sure, at some point, but it's not like it is the utmost importance that I get like 100 million credits today or something like that, you know? Electricity, radiation, viral. Got some viral going on. Yeah, gas. Toxin. Hold. Magnetism. Oh, I didn't even shoot the missiles. That's pretty interesting. Bye. 
fire, which I don't have. Puncture, which I do have. Probably one I shot at that I didn't see that I didn't get it all the way. Diplos definitely feels better. Uh, I probably should find a better secondary, though. I need something with a little bit more firepower than the Diplos, but the, the new core, it's not... New core doesn't have a lot of damage. It's a really good status primer, though. It, it, it does a lot of status effects very quickly. Status effects. But the issue is that it's not a powerful like weapon, so to say. If I go, say tier list secondary weapons. 
course, Latum's on there. Spore Lacer is on the list. So I could probably build something that would be the equivalent of the Tenant Diplos. Like, it's effects anyways. But it would be better. <clears throat> Also, I'm not sure why I can't... Oh, you can also just left-click to skip those. Cool. I thought it had to be Enter. I don't know. I'm going to look into a Spore Lacer build because I do have a Spore Lacer Riven mod. So I might try using that because I'm sure it has like multi-shot, maybe extra toxin damage, things like that. So maybe I could use that for a maybe a toxin gas electricity build. I'm not sure if that would even be a thing, but wait a second. Spike man. Don't drop any more frames now. Don't even know what I'm shooting at. All I know is it's working. No, it's not. Not really working either. It's working to help get rid of the purpose damage. to go. Technically speaking, sub 330-ish. The other cool thing is I am getting some Radiant Relics out of this, so that's cool. I don't even know what these Relics have the opportunity to give me on the gold side. Probably something I already have, but... Zylock, yeah, I have that. Not bad, though. They're, they're uh, potential. The thing is, right, even if I have the item, they're radiant, which means they're essentially a free radiant. It's the best chance you have of getting a gold item. And um, with the radiance being basically from a mission like this, I'm getting a radiant relic in like three minutes. 
if you were running a group and they were feeding you at the end, so no matter what, you know, what whatever blueprints and stuff you guys got, and you got went, you're getting like maximum amount of void traces in a mission. You might be able to get like 30, 40, maybe even 50. I don't know if like drop chance boosters affect that at all, but I'm assuming assuming that they don't, you'll probably get like 40 to 50 void traces. You need 100 for a relic, a radiant one. So there's a good chance that um, me doing this is actually faster than running relics, getting um, people just feeding me traces. Enough new core, thank you. I gotta do all this, huh? Bug. Bugs. Okay. And it close. That was a bugged one. Three minutes. Still. Pro double proc the credits, which is good. It's what I'd like to see. These are showing the plinks um, as like a really good secondary, which I've heard is it is a really good secondary, but I don't really know much about it other than that. Like my knowledge of the plinks is it exists and people say that it's good, including a uh, buddy of mine. Like, oh yeah, the plinks, it's a good weapon. He never tells me like it's full auto or semi, it's Korra. Uh, it doesn't say anything like that, you know. What is the place? This website I wish I had like a little... When you click on it, you can be like, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to know more information about it. Like, give me its brief stats or something. Nope. What we got? Something that I can't do. Something I can do. 
Something else I can't do. Something else I can't do. Oh my gosh. Oh, when I want to go into the Necromech here, can't do it. When I want to leave the Necromech and I'm here, can't do it. I got it. Still go for the one that I'm attacking. Oh my gosh. Where did my... Okay, sure, that's what I was looking for. Come on, guys. There's three of you. Destroy one leg. How hard is it? One of you is even in a mech. You heard of this button called four? Wasting my time doing that when I should be focusing on Big Mama over there. Before people get mad at me like, well, you're just being too harsh. If you're going to do Profit Taker, you should at least know what you're doing. If it's, if it's these people's first time doing it, cool, but like, there's three of them. Three of them. I'm going to go on a limb here and say that even some of these people know that Chroma is a good frame to use for this for extra credits because two other of them are also Chroma. At least that's what it looked like. One is a Chroma. Is Chroma's four? There's no way it becomes a subsumable ability because if so, I'd not be, I would not be playing Chroma if that were the case. I'll be playing Saren and using it. So it's a 9 million credits, 9.2 to be exact. An hour 25 left, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be about 20, 20 million credits. I'm. Personally, I'd be okay like 16, 17 million for right now. Of 
20 million would be a good start. We'll put it like that. Little we'll Paladin 64. Oh no, not Emerald Paladin. Already at four bars. It's GTA four star system. <laughs> inherit these problems. I inherit other people's problems and people like that. There, welcome. How hard is it? Get in your mech, kill things. Oh wait, people probably don't have mechs these days because According to some idiot on the internet, mechs are the only good use that they have is being a door stopper. Don't know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about Nightmare Frame. Are, are we team? First time doing Profit Taker? the first uh it was not the first time okay this prophet Edgar's health is like flashing back and forth was that the last one i think so because the timer has started not this one either uh, there's some weird flickering happening here i'm not i'm not okay with it You. Just like, you know, my arc wing here, thanks to a recent intrinsics upgrade, uh, it has a, a faster cooldown on its dash. I also have thrusters, Hyperion thrusters, I think they're called. So, like, a lot of stuff that I have, I go a lot quicker. Before I had some of these things, what I would do, though, is I would just open up my map and I would actually teleport to the, back to Fortuna, or, like, the closest point back to this elevator, and I would run back up there, you know? It's just down the hill from the elevator, so there's part of me that's like, there are ways to do things faster. That group, thankfully, they, they move pretty quickly. Once we killed Prophet Taker, we were extracted in less than a minute. Less than 30 seconds. You know. There's something about where people... I'm one of those people that I will blatantly see, call out what I see and what I feel, and if it feels like there's people that just it's like they're kind of there but they're not there when it comes to the meta like yeah there are people running chroma yeah that that's a meta warframe for getting more money from this but 
What's their weapons like? Granted, I'm taking a hit right now because I'm using the new core, and the new core doesn't do great damage. It's a status primer. It's it's not necessarily like a killer and destroyer of all universes, you know. That's not how it works. At least the way that I have it built. Maybe there's a way that you can build it to be oh gosh, I reactivated it. Get off me. Fire, I don't have fire, fire bad. It's puncture. I do have puncture. cheating death right now. Yation. I was closer to Chroma. Get your side? Oh, you did. We. Okay. I didn't see the attacker in the face option, so. And then for some reason that time when I double tap V, I go out of my mech and into my Warframe. Because that makes sense. On the plus side, if either I... Okay. 
either I've been getting the 60% chance every single time for double credits, or I've not been getting it every single time. <laughs> I'm going to assume I have been getting it every single time, which makes it really worth it. But, you know. Got a ribbon though, that's pretty good. Ten million credits, baby. Is my game locking up by the way that is it's not the stream crashing that that's not not your internet going bad that is my game physically just saying i don't know about this one chief <laughs> i think we're okay maybe what's that above his head is this a mag no Is it a worm or a shade? I'm not sure. I'm stuck in the elevator though. That's all I know. At least I know where he's at. If and when the game actually lets me get outside. Are you waypointing me to tell me that it's over here? Do you think I'm stupid? That was a fast one. That explains the really loud um, explosion I heard when I first joined the the match. Gosh, has a whole entourage. gonna be a few of those too where it's just like people are almost done with the profit taker and then I join it's gonna happen a few times you know I'm curious how many profit takers have I done today because I think this is a thousand per county uh, I think I've done like 16 I think I have 28,000 daily standing. I'm MR24, whatever that would be, I'm not sure. I think it's 28. Every level, I think, is another 500 more standing up until you get to legendary one, then. Confused. Why? Why does that happen sometimes? Oh my gosh! Hit it.
Why is it? Okay. Sure. Get in chroma. That time you decided to go inside Chroma properly. <sighs> Why do I gotta do everything all the time, man? I think that person just finally loaded in. Hopefully they at least get the bounty reward, you know, the relic. Or wasn't a relic. I don't remember. What. Might have been the Gyromax, I'm not sure. Yeah, they said well. It happens, man. It does. <clears throat> yeah, her name's Yudika. Okay. He just calls her Yudi for short. Death wish so freaking bad.
I've actually seen people say uh, Rubico can be good here too. speeded as well I was three blinks forward <laughs> oh my gosh after uh, Fortuna loads in here and I leave party I'm gonna go get some more water so um, I've already drank most of that so. stay hydrated everybody Ooh, what's this Heat for art guns. Cool. See, that was the other thing, too, is, like, the Corvus is really good, you know, for one-shotting the legs and stuff, but if I can get something like the Moslin that would be fast-firing and have status effects, I could stay in my mech most of the time. But anyways, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Just in time for the song then. And the next one to start playing like two seconds and then pause because YouTube. Alright. I'm curious about something. Right? I want to try because um, I have a Mosselin Riven mod. So I'm curious. If I run this bad boy, what does this have? It has gas, of all things. It does have impact, puncture, and gas. Is this the build that I was going to run on this thing? I don't remember. Um, it made you SOL in muscle. Hmm, not even close. Does have hollowed bullets. 
Sabbat rounds is what it says that it would use. Extra damage. What is this? Automatic fire rate. You know, this has an additional fire rate. If only that Grenier was actually against uh, Corpus would be nice. Sabbat rounds, I feel like it would be better than magazine capacity. This would primarily just have heat. Right now it just has heat. put this here and then I'm gonna add a dash polarity to that yes focus. Oh. This is more damage, so we'll do more damage. Automatic triggers another one for extra fire rate. Do I need crit damage on this thing? focus is more damage while aiming. I don't have that mod. Uh, dual rounds is multi-shot. Can I afford that? I don't think so. Uh, crit chance? 60%. I'm taken down to 30, but I do 60% more multi-shot. There is no multi-shot, is there? I can't even do that. Uh, hollow bullets, parallax scope, those are the only two that I need for crits. Status? Can't even do that one. I mean, I now have all four. So the mod possibilities are with me right now. Uh, what about status? These are all status chance as well, okay. Uh, is that the... Yeah, it's the only mods for that, okay. Unreload from empty, more damage. There's also radiation and multi-shot. So maybe just doing radiation multi-shot would be okay. I could have... Okay, so I want to put radiation on this thing. Because... The Corvus already has radiation. It has radiation impact. That's all it has. So the Mosslin, if I can get radiation, maybe heat. Well, it has heat. So ra heat, radiation, and then maybe add Hoxin? What's gas? Heat and Toxin. If I were to add maybe the Toxin one here, that would be good. And then I can maybe add more heat. I think that'd be a good. That'd be a good. Okay. I need to take a closer look at, like, what weapons I have, what things that I'm doing, and then how I want to go about some of this. Because, like, the Opticore has most everything that I need. I mean, it's got Slash, Puncture, um, I use it for Cold, Corrosion, that's four. I think there's nine status effects in the game or something like that. So it's almost 50% of everything, and then, like... Technically, the Nuka Core, I mean, it does maybe seven or eight effects. Well, probably like six or seven effects. And some of them overlap, but you know. Or it should do, but you know. I also don't have heat on it at the moment. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I see why the Corvus is better. Other people have said that the Impurator is better. I don't even know what that is, if I'm honest with you guys. If it is the one that is used in the um, Aura Worm in Daviri, then yes, I want it. 
Hello? Because that was near me. I mean, it does a lot of initial damage, but it's not like 30,000 against Papa Taker, you know? To be honest, the Corvus wasn't even like it was that much of an investment. I think it might have taken a little bit of Forma, but it wasn't like it was bad. What's going on here? No, she's not bugged. It's just whoever is using the Corvus is just being a troll or they lost it or something. Yep, I'm gonna go with there being a troll. Thanks for wasting my time. I'm gonna go with the Moslin is not worth it. I'm curious. Corvus might be the single best burst fire weapon in the game. In terms of necromech guns, anyways. I was expecting people to start writing up like a whole paragraph detailing how I'm wrong and it's actually this obscure weapon I've never heard of before. change my void rig uh, Moslin back when it is against maybe um, multiple ships the Moslin can be really good is it the Imperator hold on yeah the Imperator has a lot higher fire rate Let's 
try the Imperator out. I don't know what is the best one, I'll be honest. Add that one. 270. What was the... What was I doing on this one? I was doing 5,000. What does the Corvus do? Oh. 6,000. Why is the Corvus that much better? Tier list. Let's go Arkwing. It's funny because Corvus Prime is A on the tier list. Corvus Prime is at least an S rank. The Kuva Grattler? Don't I have? I have that. That's the one that fires really slow, yeah. They have one for Profit Taker, I wonder. Profit Taker Heavy Gun. Last updated three years ago. Cool. Um, most of these were last updated a long time ago. This has Blast, Heat, and Viral. Wait a minute. Impact, Puncture, and Slash. Mainly Puncture, though. Okay. I don't have the Grattler, though. It's sitting in my... Hang on. It's sitting in my Arsenal. My... Or not Arsenal. The Foundry. I got 46 minutes left on the credit boost thing, I know. I should probably not be screwing around with this, but... Yeah, there it is. I can even make the normal one. I just need Ethereum. Alright, so we'll go over here. We'll go equip. Rattler. Let's upgrade it. Rattler is a pretty powerful weapon. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay. So they want this. There's also dual rounds in here. Critical focus while aiming. That's one I don't have. Uh, focus. How do I get that one? Is this one that drops from Profit Taker? I just have been completely unlucky. It is. It's a 1.43% chance. So I don't have critical focus. I would like to get it though at some point. Let's see. Um, combustion rounds, sure. And I think most everything else needs to have like form unless I have a smaller version of it. Um, status. Contaminated casing, for instance. This is cold and gas. Uh, last. About this. Last. Sure. Total damage is not that great, but. It'll at least be blast damage, and I hope that it'll be somewhat decent against the um, legs. We'll see. I mean, I probably could. Well, I'd have to equip one of the system things. I was gonna say I could use this like on um, my Warframe. You know, I have a little duck here. Utico, go Profit Taker, this. 
Let's just run a few more. Um, I want to try to see if if the Grattler doesn't do decent damage against the legs, like, you know, a decent amount of time. If this just takes a while, maybe... I don't want to rely on my teammates because, well... That last one was a prime example. We wasted like 15 seconds when we didn't need to. So we'll just see how this goes. It's not great. This is a little bit better. That much better, though. Woodrick's about to die. Oxen. Of course, blast. Where's, you know, all the things that I need? Really, we're going through literally every status effect I'm not using currently. Not radiation, so oh, it is. But. Oh, this is pain. My void rig is basically uh, not helpful at the moment. First time in a long time, I'm gonna have to use the arc gun deployer to do this. Show you guys that it's not as hard as some people might be out to. If you're like, well, you're just making fun of people because they don't have a necromac, watch this. I don't do a full charge shot, I'm actually okay. I need to not do that. I'm I'm working in such a nerf state right now, it's it's actually ridiculous. forgetting because back when I used to run profit taker like all the time I was not part of the Unairu class or the school now I am which means that knockback doesn't affect me 
So there are times when I'm like shooting the Vandal, I'm like, oh, this is gonna knock me back because it does st self staggering. No, it does not. This is the only use my Necromech has, which is Blast. Which is sad. I don't have anything for radiation anymore. Hold, I do. No corrosive. Yeah, there you go. There goes my overguard. And boom. Is this slower? Oh, you betcha. Is it to kind of prove a point? Maybe a little bit. That's not entirely why I did this. I don't know. There's part of me is like maybe the Grattler would be good, but I don't know, man. Spam it, so I gotta be careful. <sighs> hey, else, even Zach in this thing? stuff to save everybody sorry but you just sitting it down there just not doing anything agent wisdom I know you have 30 kills and all but come on dude Rattler, I'm not sure if it's going to be the best weapon for the job. The Corvus is just god tier. I don't know what to say. Uh, it does its job a little too well. I put it like that. According to this build, though, if I could build it, it says it's a five form of build. Total damage is over 5,000. Heat being the main one over 1,000. Viral being eight, 854. And Blast being 444. If I take a closer look at the Corvus and see how I have the Corvus built uh, in comparison to like the Rattler, then maybe, like I've seen Rattlers that shred, but I, I'm just going to assume it's because it's like non-forma, not even leveled up. It's probably why it's not good. Okay, so let's take a look at the stats of the Corvus here, for instance. So it just has impact and radiation for a charge shot. Uh, quick shots. I mean, we'll, we'll go off of charge shot because it's somewhere in between quick and charge shot. If I do a charge shot, it's 5,000 total DPS. Or total damage, excuse me. Uh, total is 11,000. Total on the Grattler is 5,121. So technically, it's like half. If I use critical focus, I think it just increases its crit chance. Let's see, what are our stats here? 
If your chance is 54, this is 112. Crit multiplier of 3.8 on the Grattler, this is 5.4. Status is 59% on the Grattler, this is 30. So it would inflict status effects a little bit more, but there's no, it's not as strong in terms of like raw pure crit damage. And this isn't even fully upgraded. There's only like one more spot here. You know what? I'll do that real quick. I got the endo for it for now. The Corvus is just, like I said, it's just God tier. It truly is. It's one of the best weapons I've, I've ever owned. And there's 600 damage because oh, why not? Uh, let's take a look at the Void Rig. I don't believe there's much of anything else that I really want. Apparently I, I was about to say, apparently I don't have that, but I do. Uh, it's just ability strength that I would need to upgrade. Do I want a form of this? Uh, what would I take off? I probably want to get this vitality upgraded as well. Or thruster or something. I'm not sure what else I might be needing for this. The highest one though is going to be this vitality, so we'll just go ahead and form uh, this slot to be that. Go. Okay, uh, extra health is nice. Ability duration is not really going to matter. Shield capacity is not going to matter too much. Uh, max thrusters might be a little bit. That, that's barely doing anything, if I'm honest. We'll do that. Shield capacity. Eh. Hmm. I like don't even use anything else other than four, if I'm honest. Okay. Let me double check. I should have the Corvus equipped. Yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing too, real quick. Let me take a look at the, um, the big bad boy weapon here, this one here. So this, I'm missing a mod, by the way. But this thing just is absolutely annoying. Oh, it does gas damage too, I didn't know that. So all those times I'm like, I don't have gas, I should probably be using that. So then there's electricity and toxin, I think, are the only two I don't have. If that's... I'm glad I actually looked at that. So, yeah, just electricity and toxin. Which if I was playing Saren, toxin would be covered. I mean, technically, Diriga, he, uh, he has Art Coil, but I don't think that'd be, that, I don't think that would work too well against Prophet Taker. What we got here? Blast. I'm trying to get around to the front so that I can take a look at it. Oh my gosh. Magnetism I do not have. I do have cold. Hit it. Oh my gosh. My UI 
my my HUD is messed up. That's great. Slash. or gas blast yeah having that on uh, the void rig I really didn't know that I had uh, gas so I looked at it oh my void rig's about dead So I have to be a little bit more mindful because I don't have the shields on the Void Rig. Um, yeah, that was actually kind of scary getting it below 900 HP. You just finished that? just in time to get the credits and yes the 200 or so that we've been seeing that has been because of the double uh, so 156 oh I got a profit taker or articula um, but I didn't get the mod that I wanted <laughs> I'm curious how much plat that would be but that this is what it's like to not get uh, the double from promo that was I mean for literally just showing up London over there grabbing that was the fastest 390 credits or 390,000 credits I've ever earned in this game so like you know it's fine it's a 14 I'm going to try to kind of multitask here and take a look. What is that one called? Critical focus, that's what it's called. How much does this go for? It goes for like 19 plat. If I don't get it soon... First one, how do I kill it? Um, that's, a, that's a great question, my dude. Is somebody here? Yes. Uh, attack it with the status.
get out. Out. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, if you don't have status type. Toxin, I don't have that. Slash. Oh gosh. Eat damage. Really? Uh, where did my met go? Hold it. You're old faithful. Uh, you're blasting. Let's get some puncture going. Corrosive, big damage. Not so big damage. Um, there's Hildren showing off, but here, let me just clear out a little bit. So far away. And then when I'm standing right next to Chroma, my operator drifters is like, yeah, no, we're not doing that today. Watching the, the health bar in case anybody's like, oh, you're just cycling through. Yeah, it might be. A little bit. Oh my gosh. There we go. Final hit. about here probably there it is is this dude he says first profit taker yet he's MR 29 hey he's just enjoyed the game you know fair I'm pretty sure I mean they're playing as Hildren too I'm pretty sure they were doing a lot more for um, what's the word I'm looking for a lot more for crowd control they have the most amount of kills but yeah 
Cinco Muertes five. That means five deaths? I think. I really have, I really got <laughs> a Sola and a Calva. Nice. I wanted to see Bug go boom. No, no, I get that. Your first time going through? Yeah, I, w I was very much the same way. I wanted to watch it. I wanted to be involved. And people were like, come on, get in the elevator. And I'm like, dude, it's my first time doing this, man. Like, I get it. <laughs> I do. It's something new. But then, just like everything else, <laughs> with a game like this, with enough repetition, it loses its uniqueness. It loses its speciality. Much time left on 17 minutes. Double check. Yeah, 17 minutes. Okay. I think I might do like one or two more, and then I might, because I still have an affinity blessing going for like 17 minutes. I might take that and try to like upgrade my void rig. Toxin, I don't have that one. A swap, thank you. I actually surprisingly do not have magnetism. Viral is also another one I do not have. Chroma. my void rig go? Gosh. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't touch water. Stop that. I don't even know what I hit. There's no water near me. to my side expecting to see the leg in the distance and it was right in my face. Uh, there it is. Is fire increased fire rate? If so, I think I might have found the buff for me to run. I think so. what causes that but every once in a while the last phase just won't start like there's supposed to be another pylon phase there the game was just like yeah no we're good we don't need that i'd like to assume it's probably because we did it too quickly but that's fine <laughs> like i might have done his too late
I love this song, by the way. Not only do I like the car Hellcat, but I really like the instrumentation in this song. Plus the fact that they use an actual cat, Meow, and other things like that, too. I, I really like it. This will be the last profit taker, and then after that, it might do a little bit of EXP farming. <clears throat> to be honest, I... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I should do more, just like two, three more rounds of profit taker, because I got like 17 min or 12 minutes, something like that. It's about 10, so maybe like two more runs. Radiation. I was a decent way. Thank you. I don't even know what I just said there. Forty thousand fire is the way, holy. What status effect was that though? That's the real question. Okay, so apparently it's what happens when I get shoved into the ground a little bit. Radiation. Sure. pick up here. There's a wisp here now all of a sudden. This is like the first wisp I've actually seen all today. 
At least one that used their paddle things. The, what are they called? You know, the paddle things. Nope, oh, stop. Get out of that. Love how the void rig is getting a lot more use this time around. Magnetism. Oh my gosh, impacts. There we go. Cast it, unfortunately. 301. Did I lose a buff? No, that's more, actually. Wait a minute. Why is that more, though? Is it more? It could be from picking all these things up. I don't know. Right, I'm, I'm leaving. I think it's been like. I don't know, I, th I think it's been over 300,000 every time, but it feels odd, like maybe it was 280 or something? I don't know. <laughs> if this is more than 700,000 than it was, I don't know why. We have a Wisp, a Norris, and I think another Chroma? Oh, they're waiting on me, because I wasn't. I was like two centimeters off. How much time? Six minutes? I can probably do one more run before my buffs run out. The credit blessings and stuff. I'm still gonna have a three day credit booster. So, you know, I'll I'll have that, but I still have yet, yeah, it's about 710, so it's a little higher than usual. Um, but yeah. This will be the last profit taker before my bonuses, blessings, and stuff run out. Mainly the blessing. The booster will be there for sure. And I'm I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more profit taker in the next couple of days on or off stream. I think I just read the name Chubby Cthulhu as I went through that elevator. Up to two stars, this is good. Why is my Necromech going slow? Now it's not. I don't know what his issue was. Of the big 
upgrade that I can do. Puncture, I died. It also didn't. Don't kill it, let me kill it. I was healing it. I was standing in the leech area. That's not what you want to do with those guys, because they can out heal your damage. Unless you can one shot them. If you can one shot them, then, you know, they good luck healing something that's dead. But, you know. for me to go get you, that is not going to happen. Number one priority right now is to try to kill this thing. All the priorities are not as important. Reload. Making an invite errors. That sounds like it's fun. Oh boy. 285. Yeah, that one time it was 310. It's a weird increase. Where are they waypointing? It wasn't loot, no. I don't know what they're waypointing, I'll be honest. Probably something like help get me up. Bad, I guess. Five seconds. Did I already lose the booster? No, it's still there. Why was that only 500,000? Did it not? No, it proc the chroma. I don't know. 17 million though in about three hours. It's not bad. I'm gonna turn off my timer before it goes off. I guess to kind of wind down at the end of the stream, even though we've kind of been doing this whole thing, is maybe do some of those Nightwave missions, because a Necromech might be required on one of them. Uh, let's go Saren. Then I can also... Can I form of this anymore? No, I ran out. I've used like 12 or 9, 9 forma today. That's all right. So, the other thing I need is the shield, and then what's the other one? Strength, I think. That's it. There, there's a couple mods that I need to get to be able to make that really worth it.
System reroutes. I do have it. Cool. Ability efficiency. So what they have is Cold Snap, which I have. Uh, this is actually four months, so I can change around polarities. Action, swap polarities. Cold Snap is going to be the first one. I do have one of these here. Got a dash there, a V there. Dash there, dash there. Okay. These are going to be kind of weird. So what they have is they have Cold Snap is the first slot. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, that much. Auxiliary power. Just like it doesn't really matter too much about what you do for... Like your Warframe, your weapons though, it does matter what you put where. Because let's say you want to put together... Oh, I was like, that's not right. Because that last one's actually going to be a dash for a system. So this is the build that I'm trying to build for the Itzel. The Itzel needs one more Forma, but this is it, so... take my haste bandage off so I will be here but not really do anything for a second. So Hyperion Thrusters, what exactly does that do? More flight speed. Probably should do max energy if I'm honest. Got all this money now I can spend, so of course I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Ability strength, um, efficiency. How much would this be for max? 1.1, that's a lot of endo though. Strength, we'll do efficiency to like maybe four. I don't know really how close. Uh, this will go up to six. I have enough for three more, so I could do system reroute a few more times, but I think this is good, honestly. But like I said, I do need to form it one more time. Okay. <laughs> so Void Rig has been formed what, three, four times? Four times. So that would mean that I need to get this up to level 38 if 40 is max. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some bounty missions. I'm not entirely certain where I should, though. Uh, let me check this syndicate board. I didn't realize that you can check this over here and then check, like, everything. So, this is Anko with the quills. So, I could do some earth bounties. Yeah, I'm gonna go do some Cetus bounties, earth bounties. So, 99 minutes, that's whatever. I hit the wrong one. Or the Unum, sure, why not? I 
was going to do the Unum, <clears throat> but I guess not. <clears throat> That's fine. I'm okay with failing missions at this point in my life. I just kind of accepted that as sometimes the fastest way to get from point A to point B. Uh, Void Rig, what are we looking like? Uh, looking like we're going to need some shield capacity at some point. I'll remove that and just add this temporarily. And then let's fast travel. Let's go to Konzu. Bounties. What's the Unum? 4,000. Yeah, we'll do that one. Because there's no Aya, though. We want chance for Aya, but also not be... I mean, Steel Path is... I can kill him just as fine. before capturing. out of there buddy I don't remember killing anything else but I guess I guess I did <clears throat> I might have no I don't think I would have killed a wildlife I don't know oh the fallen drone my least favorite because it takes forever unless you have a volt or a wisp or a nova but nova can mess up the AI and make it worse Steel path was a mistake. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gratifying about that. Gosh. Go drone, go faster. The Grenier are coming. Be surprised if this can somehow stay above 80. Don't have to kill. The drone just needs to get to point B. That's that's all that matters. Yep. Kind of what I expected. This build I have not tested in Steel Path to see if it's completely viable, so. Does not look like it. Oh boy.
hear them. <laughs> sure. I mean, with the spores, it makes it pretty trivial, actually. You shooting me from above? I'm gonna go with yes. Somebody was. Emphasis on was, because I think the pilot fell out of his... <laughs> Close enough to me. Where? Not him. Not him either. There he is. Man, yeah, with the spores, it definitely shreds everything still path. Never mind. It only really takes like two, three, four ticks. I'd say maybe four ticks of corrosive before it actually does enough. Or I can just melt. But they aren't wearing any armor. You, Dirga. Was it Dirga? It had to have been Dirga. <laughs> My boy does some damage. We got a magpul. It's just in the form of a arcwing. That's all. place right here. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. This is the fallen drone again. Oh, 
they found it. Okay. All right, drum buddy, let's go. Guys having a bad day. Wow, that gave a lot of XP. Holy. Sure there is. Line up the shot, line up the shot, line up the shot. I did 12 damage to him. That's not good. So many X and misses. Stop it. faster run like your life is depending on it because it kind of is this leech is actually about to kill me reach down So many air units on us. No kidding, that sounds like a Plants vs. Zombies noise. <laughs> Saren freaking Prime, dude. Oh my gosh. 
the amount of status effects that hit these guys. I know it's partially Dirga helping out too, but just like, holy. They got everything. Keep it above 50%. At what point did it go below? I've been non-stop killing here. Can they kill me? Your shots might hurt a little bit, but I got almost 2k HP, dude. Like... Mission's done. All these idiots hanging out inside caves. Ruining our percentages. to not uh, kill my energy. Find the capture target, Dirga. Play nice. Play nice, Dirga. <laughs> Won't kill anybody. Or definitely. How am I? I have not done 75 percent damage. I mean, goofing off in a void rig this whole time. What are you talking about? Oh boy. Oh, that's just a lure. Get that off my map, please. I am the turret of the space. Shoot at me. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Thought there was somebody behind me, but no. Thirty-two.
boy Drake, stay alive, buddy. 40 more seconds. Energy efficiency is pretty good, though. I don't know if I picked up a few energy orbs from guys below me. I don't know if I did. Uh-oh. Okay, well. Guess I go back in turret mode. <clears throat> Rank 34. Hey, stop that. Hit me. No idea. You tell I, I am a man of vo the void rig. <laughs> too cool hmm. all right so basically what I need to look for I'll do some experimenting and figuring stuff out but basically what I want to try to do is I want to try to get um, I want to get a few things first thing I need to go and find a uh, it's actually at Fortuna. Let me go over to Fortuna real quick. Uh, Kit Gun Maker. <clears throat> I think the guy's name is Smokefinger? I think? Or maybe that's the... That might be... No, it's a rude zood. Uh, Smokefinger might be the... Um, miner guy. There's a person that you can trade in jewels to. I think his name is Smokefinger at Fortuna. I think it's Zood, or Rude Zood. That's the right over here. Yep. So, build a kit gun. I want to take a look at the Spore Laser. So, launches Spore Sacks that explode with toxic mist on each bounce. Automatic trigger. Fire Spore Sacks that rupture into three small toxic projectiles impact. Semi-automatic trigger. Okay. Uh, what sort of grip? I'm not sure what I want to do. I need to use a secondary one, so... Let's just grab the gibber for right now. And then loader... Um, probably... So, I'm building this for Profit Taker, for those of you curious. I have a main hand spore laser. But what I need is I need a... I'm not sure. High capacity, I'm not sure if that's really going to matter too much. Maximum capacity ammo storage, high capacity, fast loader with maximum status chance and minimum critical chance. Is that what I want? Possibly. Long cumbersome reload. Large loader that contributes to both. High capacity loader with maximum status and minimum. Fast loader with reduced ammo. Uh, increased crit and lowered status. Increased stats and lowered crit. 
High capacity loader with maximum crit and minimum status. High capacity increased ch crit chance. Um, quickest load time and lowest ammo capacity. Highest, higher capacity, smaller loader with s slower reload process. Maximum capacity with increased status and lowered crit. Quickest load speed. Okay, so what would I be looking for? It doesn't have to be like the fastest reload. Um... Let's try this. How long is the reload? Um... Magazine is 13. Fire rate, accuracy, semi-auto... Status is 28. Uh, let's see. High capacity with a maximum. What's the status? 28. That's 35. 35. What's this one? Fast loader. So that's 11 mag. This one goes to a 7 with 35. So this one's a higher capacity. <clears throat> so this one is going to go to a 28. There's also two more bullets. I think I want to do this one, the Ram Flare. Relax and impact, it makes up for intensity. Maximum rate of fire, maximum range for beam weapons, maximum dam or minimum damage. Okay. So I want something that's a secondary. Uh, grip for one shot is all you need. Devastating, minimum rate of fire. Minimum range for beam, maximum damage. So... Where does this go to? Fire rate lower does impact damage all of a sudden. Um, hmm. Measured killer? Oh, is it slower fire rates, greater damage. So this goes to 302. One. This also does impact, interestingly. It's a primary, secondary. This one is... Hold tight and unleash hell. Increased range for beam weapons, increased rate of fire, and non-beam weapons, reduce damage. Okay. Primary, secondary. Okay. Increases fire rates while sacrificing little in the damage delivery. So what's the fire rate? 1.8. Secondary, 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 secondary. So this has a higher fire rate, but the damage is only 103. <clears throat> so I don't really care that much. Okay, so... I need to take a look to see what my Opticor Vandal is at the end of this. But, um, if I were to go max damage, it'd be the Haymaker. Because it's 403 for the Radial. Yeah. Let me add Haymaker and then just kind of like re look at things here. So, RC is very low, that's fine. I'm gonna be hopefully near close enough. What's the range on this, does it say? Fall off 13 to 26. It's probably 13 to 26 meters away from me. It starts to fall to the ground. So this would gain slightly higher fire rate for a damage reduction, which isn't too bad. This one is a lot higher. So here's, here's the issue. I mean, that impact goes really low, actually. I don't want that. 
Not that I'm going to be using impact for this, but for other reasons. So love tap might be okay because it's a little bit faster fire rate, but of, of this. So it's like a, what, 0.33 speed difference. So every three shots, it would be a fourth shot technically. Is that how that math works out? <laughs> Let's say if we take those numbers, right? 1.17. And times it by four, 4.68. By the way, 1.5, be three shots. So yeah, so for every time, so every time that this, the Haymaker fires four times, this, that doesn't make any sense. Or it's just like one and a half per second. Then in two seconds, this would fire three times. This would only fire two times, I think. How does the fire rate number work? It's the thing I don't understand. Because a 1.5, a greater fire rate means that it's faster. It's like, what's the equation for that? Because like 1.5 is a bigger number, so that wouldn't work. Like if I'm, I've been thinking like, oh, if I fire consistently for nine seconds, for instance, 1.5 would seem lower, but it's actually faster. 1.5 into nine would be nine times, I think. Yeah, nine times. Well, no, it's less than that. I think it's like six times. 1.17 would be like seven times, almost eight. I'm gonna go with the love tap and then spore laser for spore laser reasons. It does toxin innate. Uh, Warframe kits gun builder. We're gonna choose the spore laser. This is an old thing. Spore laser. So they recommend the haymaker and the splats. So haymaker I would give it that, and then what's the splat do? More crit, less status. Is that what you want? This has blast toxin and impact. And blast and toxin, that's not what I needed to do though. They do a melee weapon? Sure. This is radiation and viral. A maker in the kill stream. It looks like they're going more crit than anything else. What was the other one? The splat? I think I'll do splat instead. Nobody's using the love grip though. They're using the haymaker of all things for maximum damage output. Let me look at another one here. Haymaker in kill stream. Less magazine, why this one though? High capacity loader versus a fast loader. I guess just because it's fast. Hmm. There is a train of thought with this. I'm gonna go kill stream because it's faster. Um, <clears throat> there's a train of thought with this. Yeah, it looks like kill stream seems to be the best. This has a multi shot or a ribbon thing. 
Okay, this this should be fine. I'll just build it out for what I need it for. So uh, I would need like gas in my current setup. The I'm gonna take a screenshot of this just so I know what I'm gonna build here. Uh, browse wares. Do you have these three things? I'm pretty sure he does not. Cool. Uh, spore laser haymaker. You do. Cool. Cool. Do I have everything for this? Sure do. In bulk too. Haymaker. Uh, kill stream. Same thing with these. I have these in bulk. Sweet. And then where do I get the spore laser? Is it from father? It's probably from father if I had to guess. Okay. So basically I'm gonna just try to figure out what I need uh, from these things. So what I have on the um, the main two that I have on uh, excuse me, the Octocore Vandal is corrosive and cold. Those are the ones that do over like 10k damage, like 16k. I don't need this to do like insane amounts of damage. I just would like to not have to swap it to where I only have like four different. Dremel alloy. Oh no, I might need to get. I need my Nico mining. Uh, I'm dizzy now. <clears throat> so um, yeah. Depending on what, depending on what I have, you know, kind of the big thing. Uh, spore laser. I'm going to need a Dremel alloy. Let's go over to mining. I can just make it. Thank goodness. So, spore laser. I know that I am getting stuff for that. Um, haymaker. Let's go ahead and make this. It's going to take one hour. Kill stream. Let's go ahead and make this bad boy. And then I need the spore laser, which needs a dremel alloy. And like I said, I have a, a main hand weapon with a spore laser, so I know it's good. It's a good weapon. Plus the amount of multi-shot you can get on this thing is is actually really good too. Let me show you the one that I have built already. Um, find it, there it is. I call it the Boomba. This is the one that I have, and then here's the galvanized mod. Critical chance, critical damage, damage to Grenier. If the damage to Grenier was a little different, that'd be cool too, but... What else can I put on this? A shot kill, battery recharge, delay... Uh, plus actually, while well, airborne, that's not really that important. The gun kills... Okay, so like, none of these are really gonna be helpful. Headshot kills though, like, eh, I wish kick guns were better. With this, what would I do? On ability cast, maybe? Actually. shot would be cool if I would just like go in and like kill some like one of the guys that are like spawning then I can maybe get the multi-shot and reload speed to just unload on the orb mother but like I don't know man this bad boy only has 300 total damage 300 oh my this other one's gonna be insane uh, let's see Trammel, alloy, or laser, go. Get a timer going on my phone here. Let's see. 
this. Okay. So that is going to be that. Um, let's take a look at the chroma build again. Where'd it go? Profit taker. So what I have on this, cold and corrosive are like the big two. But it does have a little bit of slash, a little bit of or puncture is also really good. A little bit of impact. So slash and impact are kind of meh, honestly. The new core, or hopefully what will be the upgrade of the spore laser. Is this the first mod slot? It is cool. Actually, I don't have anything on this either. What else can I put there? Ammo maximum would be nice, actually. Weapon recoil would also be nice. So I'm thinking <clears throat> ammo maximum would be nice. I just need to form out this thing one more time. But I'm not sure what else to do. I could do weapon recoil, but that's that's fine. I, I don't mind it right now. So let's take like Stormbringer off, for instance. Let's get ammo in here, and then we'll just max this real quick, just so I can see. 90% increase. This should put me 15? Oh, it's ammo max. I'm stupid. Ammo max is like how much extra. I don't really need that, so that was a waste. I was thinking the, um, what is the mod called? Um, do I not have it? I might have gotten rid of it though. It's um, increase the uh, magazine capacity. There it is. Magazine capacity. The issue, though, is that I need the other one that I had there, which was stronger. I don't have space for more bullets here without changing some stuff. It's a corrosive and cold. Technically, hang on a second. I'm curious about something. I've seen this can also be a really good one too. So what if I were to take this and then do tenets plus more? No. Oh. Profit taker. It says five forma, I'm at one. Oh uh, boy. It's okay, so what all what I need for this and what status effects? Radiation, cold, and corrosive. Okay. What do they have on here? They have electricity, toxin, cold. And it has built in radiation, so yeah. Um so it's the same three. It's just with the plasmor, you also get radiation. What's my radiation right now? My corvus. So I could change the Corvus from having radiation to something else, like maybe gas? Let me go take a look at the Corvus and see what I have on there. Excuse me. Because if I, I have electricity. So, if I remove that, it's just heat. Um, that's blast. I don't really want blast. This is gas. 
I can do gas. This also has status chance increase too. Because I don't want to do more radiation. And then more heat is just heat. So yeah, we'll do... Uh, not radiation. Gas. This will be gas. So Necromech is going to be changed from radiation, which it has been used that way for a long time now. So muscle memory might be fun to mess with. But um, this is now going to be gas and impacts, which is fine. Status is actually going to go up a little bit too. So with that in mind, the second hand weapon is going to be like everything else that I might be missing, but uh, Void Rig is going to have gas and uh, I think just gas, yeah, so gas, the Plasmor, um, let's see, what can I possibly do here? This could be nice, you know? Toxin status effect, though. Impact status effect? Nah. Old. I'm looking at this going, that could be nice. Increase damage. This is the one I want. Primary plated round. That's the one I want. Uh, I mean, that it would also be nice, too, but... Shotgun kill within 5 meters of a target. More multi-shot, more reload speed. That'd be nice, but, like, let's be honest, this one here would be really good, too. This is actually... I have it on my list of things to get, so this will eventually be what I go for here. So, radiation, toxin... Uh, let's get the two big ones, uh, Galvanized Hell and Savvy on here, because these are going to be very, very helpful. Um... Let's see. Corpus. Do that. Take a look at the build again. They do not use galvanized mods, interestingly. They use... Um, okay. They use Hell's Chamber. Oh, that's right, because they're relying on not killing things. So this is like a flat multi-shot that's better than the galvanized, but if you use galvanized and get the, the charge up higher, then yeah, it's better. Uh, then they use Corpus Faction mod... Ravage, which also has a prime version. Critical deceleration. Critical chance. Prime charged shell. So charged shell. Use electricity. Chilling grasp. Uh, this one here. And then shotgun barrage. So this does magnetic, radiation, and toxin. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused, because mine's different. There's this radiation, cold, and corrosive. And corrosive. How do they get that? Oh, because they have Contagious Spread in there, too. Okay. That. So, I need... Uh... Agent Spread? No. Oh. Okay, so for what I use here, I'd have to remove a lot of this stuff, actually. Is this weapon just going to be changed over to be kind of meme-y? Maybe. I was just kind of looking at it, because I can also just get a whole nother one, you know? Can I? Is this, is this a sister's weapon? Because I think it is. It's a level 32 after all, so. Tenant 
arc of plasma ore. Yeah, it's a Kuva sister thing. Um, so on the listing here. Taking a look at this here. Primary weapon that they recommend is the what exactly is this? Is that the Zenith? I think it is. They also recommend Rubico Prime, which I could try, but nah. I like the idea of the Plasmore. But then they also have Opticore Vandal on here too. What do they have for it? The charge attack has magnetic on the van? Wait a minute. Opticore Vandal. I'm gonna build what they have. Uh, so it's split chamber, Stormbringer, then infected clips. Um, let's do this for simplicity's sake. File acceleration. Point strike. That in there. Vital sense. And then uh, corpus. This is kind of what they have going into it. Somehow they're able to get magnetic plus the faction mod. No Exilus, and they're using primary dexterity, which is melee kill. I have toxin, electricity, and cold. They have electricity, toxin, and cold. So how are they? Charged radial attack, it says, is magnetic. Oh, mine has it too. Look at that. Interesting. I noticed it before now. But their build is significantly worse, though. Make sure I have that selected before I make any huge mistakes. I might end up getting a second Plasmore. Because I like this one being, you know, one I can just use, sort of a thing. Can I rename this weapon? Not sure if I can. Let's see there. What Exilus would I use here? Ammo maximum, as we found out, is really dumb. Projectile speed? Uh, so much magazine reloaded. 
accuracy, it doesn't really matter. Probably would be either the, the reload or this one, but I have a pet that also reloads, so. Uh, probably projectile speed probably would be better. I'm gonna leave that one alone. But the idea that I can get... So, radiation, cold, and corrosive. Uh, let me go take a look. All the status effects that Profit Taker can do. Stas effects, I believe, that we can have. So, let me get a notepad out here. So, we have impact, puncture, slash. We have heat, cold, electricity, toxin. Those are like the basic ones. And the combined ones, we have Blast, Corrosive, Gas, Magnetic, Radiation, and Viral. So that is 13 total status effects. So, Main Hand would have Radiation, would have Cold, and it would have Corrosive. would then be able to do impact so mech uh, this is tech well yeah I'll say mech mech uh, gun impact and gas mech gun and then the fourth ability this one here is going to be blast and gas, but I can also change gas out to be something else now. So if I do status, uh, first off, I can do toxin like this, and then maybe electricity. No, that's corrosive. Viral, blast and viral. So, uh, let's see. Last will be Mech 4. Viral will be Mech 4. There will also be Impact. Now, there is also Heat. So, Heat will also be Mech 4. Okay. So things that I am missing, uh, I've been using Puncture from the uh, main weapon, so I'll say that one also. But, I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's not great. So right now I'm missing uh, Slash, which I can also use on main. Electricity, Toxin, and Magnetic. So this secondary weapon is going to have to be... I mean, it's going to use Innate Toxin anyways. But I'm going to try to get Toxin... Is it Toxin and Magnetic? What's magnetic? Uh, electricity and cold. Maybe instead of viral here, maybe I do charged bullets? That way magnetic and blast and not gas.
And then I'm missing out on Viral, and Viral is cold and toxin. Actually, this would work. Hopefully. Maybe. Do Magnetic on the 4th. That would leave me with Slash Electricity, Toxin, and Viral. Viral is Cold and Toxin. If I were to... Put in one more status effect here, what would it be? I could put electricity in here. Because viral viral is what I need and it's cold and toxin. And then the weapon itself will also be toxin. So yeah, I can do that. And then electricity and slash. So slash might be the only thing I don't have. So electrification. Um makes magnetic though. Right now, is it? I can't add more electricity to it because it just adds more magnetic damage. You know, we'll just double down on it. It's fine. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that should work. What is that? I don't know what I just uninstalled it off of, but I'm sure I'll find out in the future and hate myself for doing it. Probably off the Mosselin if I had to guess. Okay, so Blast, Magnetic, and Heat. Okay. It also does Impact as well. Status is well over. That's fine. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go over here. Could I add electricity somewhere in here? Damage and punch through is nice. Magazine capacity. If I were to remove that and then add in electricity, would that mess with the other stuff? Because right now it's heat. So if I put toxin up here, and then I put like charged bullets down here. Corrosive and heat. Not what I want. Uh just to be, no. Um Technically speaking, I could do corrosive here and see. I'm gonna see if I can remove corrosive off of this build. What what is causing corrosive here? Toxin and electricity. Radiation. Hold is the last one. So what would I be able to put in its place? So let's say, for instance, Corrosive is not on the main weapon. Let's say it's up here. Viral? Did I put Viral on this? What is Viral again? I, for, I don't know these combinations. Old and Toxin. So it's going to have Radiation. Uh, it's Cold and Toxin. And then I can move Electricity, giving me Electricity on the main weapon? This is getting very complicated now. So, cold and toxin gets viral. I'd be losing cold on the main weapon as well. So, this... I'm also losing puncture as well. This is the plasma. Yeah. See what happens when you move like one thing? It throws everything up in the air. Okay. Is 
So here's the thing, right? I don't want to have to be like, oh, this is fine. I'll just make sure to be in my mech more. It, to me, it doesn't really matter that much, like where the damage is coming from, as long as I know what has what damage, you know? So impact and gas is going to be on Corvus Prime. Let me just like remove most of these notes here. That's that's so Corvus has impact and gas. Which I already do for the impact anyway, so that's fine. I can technically do something else, so what else would I want to do? Because whatever I do, if I want to say it added this, for instance, corrosive, or like electricity, it would make corrosive and there'd also be heat. So then it's like, what could I possibly get rid of? I could possibly get rid of maybe like Crit chance, maybe? I don't think so. Go with... Do I want to go corrosive at heat? I don't, I don't know what I want to focus on. That's the issue. How about this? For now, we'll leave it without the status stuff so irregardless no matter what this is going to have heat so it will be impact and heat for right now and then this by default i believe this has blast let me remove these two and that one this just has does this actually have heat and blast too right what do you have we have heat blast and impact. Um, we are we have Bex impact heat blast. So we'll say that that the ones I would need the innate for the plasmorm is going to have toxin and it's also going to be radiation. Plasmorm. Uh, toxin. Or it doesn't have to be toxin. Because the thing I'm thinking about too is if I have because the plasmorm no matter what it's going to have radiation. If I can get a plasmor that has... The Kuva element can't be a combination, right? No, I can. Alright, I'm my brain's a little fried trying to think about all this stuff. It's an arc of freaking plasmor, dude. Um... I need to look for... Uh, yeah, it has normal radiation. It is. Where's the progenitors? So I can get... So I can get impact, heat, cold, electricity, toxin, magnetic, or radiation. So instead of doing just toxin on this weapon, I could do a magnetic radiation plasmor. And that way it would open it up for more. So magnetic radiation. So it puts radiation with one, magnetic with one. 
that leaves me puncture, cold, corrosive, viral, toxin, electricity, and slash. So I'm, unless it's melee, which I might need to get like a Zaw that I can throw with like Exodia Contagion or something like that. Or a Glaive, actually. I've been using my Glaive, so I could use that. Glaive, is that going to be... Uh, it's, it's the Zorus is what I've been using. The Zorus... It has Slash. Okay, so it also has Puncture, too. The final hit, though, I'm not sure if it is... The status is also kind of low. Slash plus status chance. Why not? Could also do this for more impacts. Oh. I mean, I could do this too to increase combo counter, but... Probably gonna be using my... That's what I have already, okay. Status chance, just like a normal thing here. None of these are like elements, so. I do have some flexibility with that as well. Like, you know, if I wanted to add some cold to this, for instance, I could do that. If I wanted to add some toxin to it, I could. If I form a once, I probably could do something like that. So that's something that I can do. I also don't know. Zodi Contagion is not on. Oh, it's because it's a glaive. That's why it's different. I think it's on a Zaz where you can put the Contagion. So, um, let's see. So what else would I put on the Plasmor? I could put Corrosive on it, or even Viral. Let me go back to the page over here that I was looking at. That's that is that's eight forma. Holy frick! Never mind. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. So we got Hell's Chamber. We have the Corpus mod. In this case, the Prime version. Ravage. I don't have the Prime version. Critical deceleration. There's three, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, uh, here it is. Yeah, I could do that one, but we'll do fire. Under five percent. Same amount. Do repeater clip, because why not? I could add puncture to this. Right? It doesn't add puncture. That's not how that works. <laughs> Okay. 2.3, 105%. So this would be what? Um, because a 2.3 or 105%. I feel like this will be better, but I don't really know for sure. So let me put the, this and maybe this over here. I have three spots for extra mods. So we're gonna pretend that the toxin is not there and that actually says radiation, okay? Keep that in mind. So on my list, corrosive, toxin, okay, so go to the list, slash, which I'm gonna use for the Zorus, so that will actually be on Zorus. Zorus, uh, slash. Electricity, Toxin, Viral, Corrosive, and Cold Puncture. So the Spore Lacer should have an inbuilt Toxin. So Toxin, I could put Corrosive on that, but I kind of want to put Toxin or Corrosive on this. So if I go Corrosive, it's Toxin and Electricity, but Shell Shock and Toxic Barrage. And then the last spot, what would I put? 
cold or toxin. I have toxin already on there. But do I want to put... I can't put a second one on here, right? Because it just increases... Yeah, it does. Okay. So I'd have to put on here probably cold. I could do reload, but I'll do more status on this. There we go. So this is a 95.2 status. Okay. Take a screenshot of this. And this will be titled... Um, that'll be my... Archaplasma... Archaplasmor... Archa... Ten nits, Arca Plasmor for profit. Or, nah, I'll just leave it Arca Plasmor, and I'll put in a folder for that. So this will be... Plasmor will have magnetic radiation. It will have... Is that viral, if I remember correctly? No, corrosive. Uh, corrosive and cold. So I need electricity, toxin, and viral. Um... I think the spore laser is going to be electri or electricity and viral, I think. Because if it has built-in toxin, viral is, I believe, heat and toxin? No, it's cold and toxin. So cold and toxin. So a uh, spore laser is going to have viral electricity and then the source I need to put toxin on it as well and that should be everything so I could do that or I can do extra status chance can't do that actually because it's too much I'll put this on here just for now Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I need a lot of work, though. I need to do a lot of work for this. So, starting with... Um, I'm going to change this out for Corpus. Oh, I have that one, too. Nice. I can upgrade it a little bit. i to get it like a 1.3. 1.35, sure. Good enough. Actually, I think it's a 1.44. Um, uh, this is awkward. Aggressive and cold, you know. It's going to do a lot of damage regardless. I'll just change off the, the thing. It's fine. This needs to go to Corpus. And then the Nami Solo. Uh, I don't... I, I want it to be here, but it's just kind of in an awkward place, though. If I'm honest. So let's get Mag set up here. All right, let me show you guys. Actually, I, I need to have the Zorus. I forgot, in order to do this, I need the Zorus. So mag is magnetic. I just want to make sure on this, right? 
Uh, yeah, because I just did this with a new core on mag, which is why I'm like, okay, here we go, round two, baby. Hydra. So, let me show you guys how I, how I grinded out getting the new core, because I had to do it like five or six times. So what I'm gonna do, for those of you wondering how you spawn your, uh, like the Sisters of Parvos, it's a capture mission, yeah, but actually we'll, we'll do this properly because I don't want to accidentally fail. Hey, there's a hand there. Cool. You want to keep an eye out for those hands. And then what you want to do, uh, capture your target. And what this will do is once you've captured your target, the game will just let you do whatever. You don't have to leave. There's no time limit. There's nothing, none of that stuff. So um, what you need to do now is kind of like clear everybody out over here. And then interact with this. Give it the third coin and hop in. This is why you need the Zorus equipped. I'm also gonna hit a uh, map so I can kind of see a little bit better. So what you wanna do is you basically want to kill these guys. And there's multiple ways to do it. Zorus is just one of the easier ways to do it. Plus, you can also extend your timer by freeing Solaris United, but that needs the Zorus's uh, charge. Hold down your melee button and then hit the um, heavy attack button, and that will allow you to do this. I'm also going to do that just so I don't accidentally radially hit myself. So I'm kind of showing off here, but all you need to do is you just need to hit 25 kills. You can let the timer run out. Um, I usually go the whole distance because 75 isn't that hard to get. And um, 75, you can get some rewards. If you're going for Protea, this is how you do it as well. I think you have to get Rotation C as well. It's been a bit since I did all this stuff, so you'll have to forgive me if some of that information is a little old. But basically, you want to find more than a group of three, uh, get your Zorus together, and kill them off. It's repeat. If you need more time, there's these little pyramids that'll spawn as well. You can grab those. I think it adds like two more seconds or five more seconds. I don't remember. Probably just set it on screen. That's 76, 79 kills. Good enough. When you leave here, you'll probably hear Bravo's Granum. So get ready to grab the uh, coin from that guy. But now what we're doing is we're kind of going toward the end of the level. Oh, uh, this, this is the Candidate. I almost forgot their name and then she said it. So basically what you need to do is you need to find the said candidate and see what they have. Hello? What do you have? You have the Plinks, which is also another good weapon, but I'm going to ignore it. Waiting for the old dude to be like, Bravo's random! There he is. Oh, there he is. There he was. Now, typically what you could do, I don't know if it um, destroys your coins, um, but you can le like abort mission and leave. However, when you do that, you lose whatever resources that you had gained up to that point. You like abandon them. So what I'm curious about, and I'm gonna test here when we go back to my orbiter here. Did I get it? There's, this is also how I can get some void traces, in case you're curious. And some other things. I accidentally went in there. Uh, let's go. Equipment, inventory, crown. So I have 24. Alright. 
configuration. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like, why? Why is that weird symbol? So, 24. If this doesn't roll a plasmor, if I just abort mission, will I lose the coin? If that's the case, then I know that I can't do what I did on the Grenier one. On the Grenier one, I would do the capture mission, and, you know, all you have to do is just do a capture mission. Uh, there's a node called Cassini on Saturn. Any level 20 or higher Grenier mission, and um, all, you, all you have to do is when the screen flickers yellow, is you just go on a killing rampage. You have to kill, I think it's like 20 enemies or 10 enemies, something. It's an amount of enemies really quickly. And this number, by the way, of kills, 25, 50, 75, they increase 25 kills more per player. So going in here with more people can be a bad thing if you're trying to get, like, a, an efficient amount of kills, that is. Another way to do this, um, I've seen as Mesa, you can just hit your peacemakers or whatever they are and just absolutely annihilate everything. So, you know, that's also an option should you uh, not want to deal with the Zorus. But this is a very, how, how shall I say, beginner friendly method that I still use because it's what works. Why fix what works, you know? Plus, I don't have Mesa, so it's sad. I did have a normal Mesa, but um, yeah, she she wandered too close to the Hellman. Um, yeah. Okay, so 67 doesn't really matter. If I would have killed a little bit faster, I think I would have gotten it, but it's okay. Plasmar? No. I didn't really get anything from Red Veil vale either, so I'm just gonna abort and then check my inventory. If I lost a coin, then I know that I can't do this. 100% experimenting. Because this is the fastest way to just restart the mission. If I lost that crown, then I don't... I can't just do this forever. Uh, and I did. Okay. So unlike the Grenier one, you do have to finish the whole mission in order to not lose the crown, unless you just don't care. I don't remember what, like, tier reward it is. If it's A, B, or C on doing the, um, the Granum Void, the angel things. Uh, whichever one it is, you can get more crowns, so that's why I have like 20 of them. If I wanted to, I could just burn a few of them, who cares, you know? Oh, uh, not this. I'll do that if I get the candidates. 
find a hand. Oh, there's a hand in here. Oh, that guy died. Wait, go inside. There's nobody near. So you can just straight up kill him if you really wanted to. He's got both of them, nice. Just something about this play style with the glaive that just feels very satisfying to me. This is how I feel about it right now. Once I get prime sure footed, you know, and like I actually did a, a quick Yesterday, when the daily hit, I wanted to know what day it was and like, if I log in every single day, how long would it be until I hit day 200? And the sad truth of the matter is, I could be well over day 300 by now. Uh, in fact, well over day 600, but... Um, I started playing... Oh, I was confused. It was like, 20 out of 59? That's not what I've done. <laughs> the, um... My account is old, like a few years old, maybe three, four, or something like that, because I played this years ago, but I never really got into it. Much like the Black Desert Saga, I played Black Desert, didn't really get like into into it, but uh, yeah, what just happened? <laughs> uh, okay. I swapped to uh, give myself some more, like, immunity. Some, like, self-stagger immunity, you know? Archiplasmore, baby, let's do it! Oh, hello. Easy peasy. So, and the other thing, too, that I noticed you don't need to have every single Archiplasmor be the same type. It doesn't need to be all magnetic. When you do what we call a Valence uh, fusion, you take two of the same weapon, a Kuva weapon, Tenet weapon, and you combine them together and it increases its potency. So what you want to do is you want to look up a nifty little chart where it talks about... Um, Okay. You might as well have called my mom fat and I would not know. Okay. I'm gonna go to Saren for this though, because toxin damage is way too OP. Also get this out of my face. Uh Phantasma. It's fantastic. But yeah, you wanna look for uh Valence Fusion, I believe it's what it's called. What Valence Fusion is, like I said, you take two of the same weapons, so in the case of like the new core, you hit this, you go to actions, and then you can do Valence Fusion. What this does is, um, it dismantles a weapon to transfer a boosted version of its innate damage bonus to this weapon. So, with upgrading these, the math goes as follows. If you have a 25% initial value, which is, let's say my Kuba Nucor here had a 25% instead of 60 magnetic, uh, it would take 10 more weapons to get this 
from 25 up to 60. If it's five or 54.6, that'll be enough to like one fusion will get it up to 60. So depending on where you're at, you want to follow this chart that, um, just do this real quick. Here's the chart. So if you have a 45 or like maybe a 46, 47, you still need three weapons to get it up to 60. If you are at like 30.8, you're going to need that seven. Even if you're at like 31, you're going to need seven of them. So what you want to do while running these is you want to run until you get maybe like four or five runs done. And, you know, pay attention to what the percentage is. If the percentage is like 45, that's going to be the one that you're going to use. And anything else, if it's lower than that, you want to burn into that 45 to make it, you know, 48 or 49, whatever, all the way up to 60. So you want to run one or two, get a feel for them, see what percentages you're at. And if you're trying to push like I am to get something up to 60%, that's what you want to do. That being said, I never did check uh, what... Ooh, wait a second. Something's wrong here. Oh, the new core just doesn't have a mod there. Um, give me a second. I need Scorch there. And then what's the X list? Uh, a mod that I don't have. Cool. That is 169. Nice. Um, <laughs> Merciless. I wanted to do this just because extra damage stack was pretty good. Let's check to see what she has. So this is a 30%. So a 30%, according to the chart, uh, I would need 8 uh, I there's 30.8 is the next minimum value. This is just 30. So I got a little unlucky, not gonna lie. But what I should do in the future is if I notice I get something that's like a 40 or a 35, then that would be used as my base, not this one. So that being said, this is what I'm doing for my evening. So. But I think that's going to call it for the stream today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my sign off here. Appreciate you guys watching. Despite the little bit of an internet hiccup this morning. It was a pretty good day, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else. I'm, like, I, I don't think you guys want to watch me run through like another glitch or uh, sister of Parvos, I guess. They call them sisters and it just feels weird to me because I have an IRL sister. But to say sisters is just strange to me. But... If you know what, if you know the lingo, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you're just as confused as me. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hit that like button down below. Share the video around on your favorite social media, Twitter, X, uh, Facebook, Discord, wherever you share your streams. I would appreciate you guys doing that as I'm trying to grow the channel. Uh, hit over 400 subscribers. It's been over seven years or a little over six years six and a bit since I started doing YouTube and uh, I enjoy it, but there's a lot of days where it just doesn't really bring me the same joy that it once did and uh, I'd like to be able to get more people involved and uh, Do more like group event funded stuff. Well, maybe not funded but group event stuff because that'd be kind of fun But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and watching until next time. Stay safe. Take it easy and God bless.